town. Then two Chicago school students saw something. Now they could be making history. Meet the Comet Kids. Those stories and more coming up next at 5. For two. They saw something in space. Now they could be making history. That's still ahead. Good evening. I'm Andy Avalos. Say the mothers didn't let the babies feed or just didn't produce enough milk. NASA says it will investigate. Tonight, students from 140 Illinois schools are in Springfield showing legislators that they are learning about science and technology. Among them, a junior and senior from Chicago's Latin School who may have discovered some objects in space. Charlie Wojciechowski has their story. It is the plot line of a major motion picture, asteroids on a collision course with Earth. But here at the computer lab of Chicago's Latin School, that's exactly what these students are looking for. We're looking for things that haven't been found yet. You know, uh, UFOs, probably not too many, <laughs> none, but <laughs> asteroids, comets, anything that's out there. And Rob Edelstein and Liz Campanella may have found something, a previously unnoticed object they're trying to identify. We're not really too sure. You can't say because it could be a comet, it could be an asteroid. Or in other people that have found things, you have variable stars which just dim in and out. Both and Liz's and Rob's objects make a small arc in the night sky. That leads them to believe these are asteroids. The pictures Rob and Liz use come from an automatic star field camera at the University of Illinois, where they're uploaded onto the Internet. Dennis Erickson's astronomy class is downloading them and looking for differences in the pictures. With 19 sets of eyes, a class can go through a lot of pictures. Our ultimate goal is to maybe uh, save humankind from extinction like the dinosaur experienced about 65 million years ago. Because if we spot an object coming toward Earth, we could possibly send up a rocket and deviate it. Right now, these discoveries are all part of a process of investigation. But if indeed they turn out to be undiscovered objects, these guys get to name them. Not only will Liz and Rob avert global disaster, they may even name their objects after their alma mater, the Latin School. Charlie Vaughn, Husky News Channel 5. And they have submitted their findings to a clearinghouse at Harvard University. Researchers there will decide if they really were the first to see those two asteroids. And by the way, the asteroids are not on a collision course with Earth. We thought you'd want to know that. That's good to hear. School is so much fun now. It sure is. Just, to just worry about getting an A. Now you're going to look for asteroids and yeah. such. All that good stuff. Save so is the, is the wetter wetter?